God was always there protecting me because some of the stuff I was doing while drunk, I, I should have died a long time ago, but here I am sitting talking about my story. So I went to Pipeline and I'm telling you, uh, I was always comfortable in, in the darkest of places. And uh, at that time, Pipeline was not this uh, uh, classy place, maybe as it is now, there are nice apartments now. Those days, uh, there was Mongeki and so many cartels and there were brothels all over. I felt at home and uh, the money was coming in, I was employed, uh, I had uh, this title, you know, I'm working at a blue chip company, but I would feel comfortable drinking cheap beer because I needed to drink from uh, fast to 31st. So I, I would not take the bottle of beer or the expensive whiskeys or gin. I would take keg or the cheapest of, of beers. And then that wasn't enough. I had gotten into, I think I was almost addicted to the brothels. They even knew my name. They even knew what I wanted. So anytime I would walk into the brothel, uh, I don't want to mention the, the name of the places, uh, I, they would even know my preference. Uh, you know, I wanted this type. Sometimes they would ask me, hey, Chris, what size? And I would feel good because no one knew me, no one would judge me. And you know the worst part, when, when, when you are around people who don't know you, you can do anything. For me, the drinking had removed that, that, uh, uh, that moral concept. I didn't feel bad. Even when I tried dating and maybe I had someone in my life, uh, uh, prostitutes would always come first. I would always feel the urge to, uh, to have sex with prostitutes. And, um, and uh, I was always high. There are so many times I woke up in brothels no shoes, no phone, nothing. At one time, I remember even my smaller bro uh, brother came looking for me with my, my friend, uh, James. They came looking for me uh, and they knew the only place they would find me was in a brothel. And that's where they found me. No shoes, drunk, sleeping on a table. And that's a guy working at a blue chip company. Uh, my job performance well, obviously was, uh, was uh, going down. I was a performer, but now I would miss work even for days. I would lie, I would go to the hospital. We had insurance, uh, a million worth of insurance. I'd go to hospital, take sick offs. You know, my job was interfering with my drinking and I wasn't feeling uh, like working. I wanted to drink and drink myself to death. By that time, I had already uh, developed those suicidal thoughts. I had messed up with everyone. Uh, by that time I had a girlfriend. I, I think it didn't even last. Uh, we quarreled, my dad, my mom, my brothers, my sisters. I would lie so much. I would even borrow money and I had a big salary because I would not, I would not sustain myself throughout the month. And it got so bad that uh, at one time I would go to the headquarters for salary advances and yeah you 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 can take an advance but you see you are a young guy maybe you are not even one year into the job or two years but you are taking an advance and these the hr ladies would look at you like uh, are you well and i didn't have anyone to share with i didn't know how to tell people i was feeling tired of my life at one time uh, maybe I would tell my uh, my then girlfriend, I am tired of life, the debts were piling up. Uh, at that time they were giving these unsecured loans. So I would take one from one bank, uh, then after some time I would go to the other bank, tell them to buy the first loan and add me something. So I ended up, uh, and that's how I ended up in CRB. I think uh, I had almost a million in uh, by the time CRB, the CRBs came came in. Um, I had borrowed and I couldn't even show anything or anything I had done with that money.